Pull up transition three. That's good if it goes. And it is. It doesn't need to be green. Bang. Cedric Lewis starting off the game two early three-pointers. Marcus Smart cooking a little bit, but he's going to get blocked. And it's going to be a jump ball. I'm going straight to the rack. And that's another foul and one. Mo Bamba's already got four fouls. Let me set a screen for you, Yuta. Kick it back, Yuta. Kick it back. That should be a bucket. And it's good. Cedric Lewis from downtown. He's got 35. Oh, fast break. Kenny, you need to give me the ball, buddy. There's no reason why you shouldn't be. That's going to be a charge, ain't it? No blocking foul and one. Nick Richards extends the lead to double digits. And he can make it an 11-point lead, which will be the biggest lead of the game so far for the Hornets on the break now. Can I get my triple-double? I can. Yuta with the dunk. Gets me the triple-double and extends the lead back to 13. We are currently on a 15-2 run in this fourth quarter. All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to this NBA 2K23, my NBA career. Last episode, we took another L against the Miami Heat this time. We only have two wins this season. We are 2-4, and four, I believe, when I'm playing. Not very good as we head into our final game of the regular season, second to last game, final game of Cedric Lewis. Uh, losing the six in the Heat, this game was not as close as the score says. It was an uphill battle the entire time, and... With a chance to possibly win, I ended up fouling out on a bogus call. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to that video and look for yourselves. I had 29 points, 3 rebounds, 9 assists, but I had a bad game. 8 for 22 from the field. Jimmy Butler had me locked down. 3 for 7 for 3, but I did hit 10 out of 10 of my free throws. And main reason why we lost, in my opinion, was Yuta Watanabe was our second leading scorer. He had himself a game. But we're not going to win if Yuta's our second leading scorer. Aiton played all right, but 13 points is not enough. And Lamella Ball, you got to get up more shot attempts than seven. And the threes, man, the threes. Like, why is Ty Jerome taking five threes? Jeremy Grant can't hit a three. He would have been perfect. On, he was perfect on the night for non-threes. Landry Shamit, why are you taking eight threes? Like, it, and Terry Rozier, our main guy off the bench, just doesn't work. And then for the Heat... Uh, Jimmy Butler just had his way in this game. Bam Adebayo. Tyler Hero struggled. Old Depot played amazing off the bench. It was just, it was a struggle all throughout. And we ended up taking the L. And here are the stats for the game. We did not win. Let's accept uh, the plus minus. Whenever it goes negative, for some reason, this pops up. So it is what it is. You can't see the XP on the screen. But we had 52,000. We are now up to 60,000 XP. And here are all the stats you can see on the bottom. For this season, starting off with the first game up here against the Bulls, had 12 points and had 51, 56, 35, 24, and 29. So based off these performances, uh, it's safe to say that that was one of the worst since that Bulls game. Yeah, probably the worst since that Bulls game, shooting 36% from the field. But now, as you can see, we are going up against the Celtics in the second to last game of the year. And as we look at the playoff picture, this game has huge implications for both teams. The Celtics... Uh, will most likely finish as the four seed. I don't think they'll be able to catch up to the Cavs. They can. I just don't know how the tiebreaker works. Uh, but they are trying to save themselves from falling to five. They want that home court advantage against the Indiana Pacers. They have two games left. The Pacers have one. Uh, and we are in a battle ourselves. With two games left in the season, we are only two games ahead of the Pistons. Uh, who I don't know who owns the tiebreaker in that. But only two games. So if we drop these last two games, they win their last two games. We could possibly fall to the eight seed. Uh, we are 44 and 36, but the 76ers are half a game ahead of us with one game left in the season, and we have the tiebreaker over them. So we went out, and we will be the sixth seed out of the play-in. Anyways, we got the Celtics in this game, the fourth seed. Let's see if we can get this win and hopefully move up out of that play-in, and we got to face the Miami Heat in the last game of the year. That's going to be a tough one to win. Here we are in Boston for this game against the four-seeded Celtics looking to get their 50th win of the season. This is going to be one of our toughest matches of the year, going up against 98 overall Jason Tatum and 92 overall uh, Jalen Brown. And Marcus Smart will probably be guarding us this game, so that is going to make life even more miserable. This Celtics team on paper is amazing. As you see, DeAndre Ayton's stats have just only gone up this season since being traded. He was averaging 14 points a game. He's up to 16 now. He's averaging 20 points a game with us. 
So I'm hoping for big things from him in the playoffs and most likely next season. And I am going to put myself on Jason Tatum for this. I do not want you to want to not be guarding him. Hell no, you can guard Marcus Smart. I need to be on Tatum and hopefully I don't get cooked because he is 6'8". I am only 6'4". Uh, but anyways, let's get him going. We're going to start with the screen, see if we can get our jump shot going uh, early in this game. I'm going to have to step up. That's actually not a bad release, but it was too far off. And LaMelo saves it. I'm going to pull it again. That should be good. And it is three-pointer to start off for the Hornets. Pull up transition three. That's good if it goes. And it is. It doesn't need to be green. Bang. Cedric Lewis starting off the game. Two early three-pointers. One off the rebound from LaMelo. The next one in transition. We are off to a fantastic start in this game. And right now I have the uh, Pelicans Thunder game on right now. So if you see me looking to the right, that is what I'm looking at. And if you guys haven't seen it, I dropped my playoff predictions. As Lamelo hits that mid range, I dropped my playoff predictions uh, for this season. Some of them already didn't hit. We won't talk about it. But if you want to know what the predictions are, that video did very well. The link will be down in the description. Please go check that video out. I think it's very good. I usually do it every year. As I sagged off a of Tatum, he bricks it. But Robert Williams with the rebound second chance opportunity for the celtics and jalen brown does not make the most of it this has been a long ass first quarter i won't lie i'm now getting extended minutes because i got fouled and when i was supposed to go to the bench so obviously i'm not getting benched but i have held jason tatum to one for four shooting one for three from downtown so i mean that's successful it's just their bigs robert williams is having his way right now uh but their whole bench squad is in the game so i should be able to take an advantage but when marcus smart is on me I am not able to get a shot off. Marcus Smart cooking a little bit, but he's going to get blocked, and it's going to be a jump ball. Final shot, most likely, or final possession for us. Jeremy Grant had an easy layup, and he made it about a million times more difficult, as we're going to have a four-point lead going into the second quarter. Right, Jeremy, bro, you didn't need to do all that. All right, this is where I'm going to get my first rest. Tatum has a chance to tie it after DeAndre Ayton foul. Let's hope the rest of the team can keep it close. No, they don't. We're immediately down by eight, man. Come on. I'm going straight to the rack. And that's another foul and one. Mo Bamba's already got four fouls. Ten seconds left. We're going to get the last shot, hopefully, of the quarter. If not close to, I'm going right to the rack. That's an easy dunk to tie the game up. 47, 47, 5 seconds left. Oh, my God. The Pelican just hit a three. I don't care that goes in. It's a one-point game. Who hit it? Ingram hit it. It's a one-point game. It's most likely over because Pelicans will have a timeout. Oh, I'm going to sub out. Finally, I get a rest. About damn time. We have a one-point lead. Bench, don't ruin it like you did last time. I'm scared you're going to tie game. I, 66. Am I going to have to, like, turn up the minutes per quarter? Like, how do we have 66 points? I have a chance to extend our three-point lead. I'm going right to the basket. No one's contesting me. What a flashy dunk from Cedric Lewis. I, can I run? Like, why am I so far away? Not nah, Kenrich, get back on your mat. Okay, you know, well, I guess not. Oh, now you want to. Now you want to. All right, then. We have a five-point lead. I don't remember the last time we actually had yeah, the first quarter. Is the last time we actually had a large lead. I think the largest lead in this game was probably eight or eight for the Celtics or around like eight or nine for us as Tatum throws up a brick. He's building a house right now. I'm cutting. Oh, my God. Okay, maybe that wasn't the best pass, but I was cutting. I'm going to set a screen. Apparently, I'm setting a screen for the guy on me. That's what I'm doing. Let me set a screen for you, Yuda. Kick it back, Yuda. Kick it back. That should be a bucket. And it's good. Cedric Lewis from downtown. He's got 35. Oh, fast break. Kenny, you need to give me the ball, buddy. There's no reason why you shouldn't be. That's going to be a charge, ain't it? No blocking foul and one. Nick Richards extends the lead to double digits. And he can make it an 11-point lead, which would be the biggest lead of the game so far for the Hornets. Coming in, outscoring the Celtics, I believe, 13-1. to I mean, 13-2 to so far in this fourth quarter. And Tatum, that was a great move to the basket, but it comes up short on the break now. Can I get my triple-double? I can. Yuna with the dunk gets me the triple-double and extends the lead back to 13. We are currently on a 15-2 run in this fourth quarter. We have completely, and they're going to call a timeout, completely ran away with this game in this fourth quarter. They have only scored 11 points to our near 30. 11-29 fourth quarter. 
and that is going to solidify us a big time victory for this playoff race. The comparison Tatum had was seven for twenty two. He just hit a shot, and um, he only had nineteen points. Now twenty one. It, it, it's it's a bloodbath out here. Okay, okay let me. Oh, I do. I anticipated them to come back. Every time I set a screen for Lamelo, it just doesn't really work out very well. My favorite every time, because when I'm trying to set a screen off the top of the play immediately, uh, it just it just bunched. I, I don't. It's just weird, I guess, for a shooting guard to set screens. Tatum, I mean, you're down 20, buddy. The game's over. Uh, kick it out to Smart in the corner. I'm there though, bro. I am all over the Celtics defensively. Lamelo. Kick it out to me. I got Derek White on me, though. It don't matter. I'm going right to the rack. And it's off. Yeah, I kind of figured. All right. I really want to score 40 here. They kind of ruined it last possession with double teaming me for some stupid reason. The game was already over, and you're double teaming me. That's an easy. There it is. 40. I thought that was going to miss. 41 points. 13 rebounds. 17 assists. Monster triple-double with a huge victory over the top-seeded Boston Celtics. Much-needed win in this playoff race. And if the Sixers lost, we have a chance to jump back up to the sixth seed. We control our own destiny against the Miami Heat, a game I will not play. If I knew it would be this close, I would have picked that game to play against them instead of the last one. But, I mean, it, it is what it is. Uh, next episode, at the beginning of it, you will see um, that game simulated with Tatum. 21 points, 8 for 24, and 3 for 13. He just got clamped. He got clamped. Robert Williams had a great game. Uh, Brogdon was solid, but once again... Just the moral of the story for anyone we face. The supporting cast just doesn't help. Just not help. Besides the Lakers. The Lakers supporting cast killed us. Smart was 1 for 11. Yuta did his job. Monster triple-double for Cedric Lewis. 41-13-17 along with 2 steals and 3 turnovers. And shot the ball pretty efficiently. 13 for 24. 4 for 9 from downtown. And 11 for 11 from the free throw line. That's a mean stat line right there. That's amazing. 21-10-7. Uh, and 7, Lamelo almost had a triple-double. And eight and with twenty and eight. If if the if the um if the big three is playing like this, I don't see a team that can beat us. To be brutally honest, if we're playing like this, we could make the NBA finals. I'm just saying that right now. Uh the sporting cast oh yeah, for seven from Yuta. Oh my god. Uh sporting cast clearly doesn't help much, but all it takes is these three in our defense and we'll be great. And also DeAndre Ian hit a three. Anyways, that's gonna be for me. GG.